In this lecture, presented by www.free-academy.com, we are going to find the derivative of sine of x divided by x squared using the quotient rule. Now you recall that the quotient rule states that if we have f of x divided by g of x, the derivative equals low d high minus high d low over low squared. So um, knowing this, we'll define our f of x and our g of x, which by convention f of x is on top, g of x is on the bottom. We can switch that around if we want to, but there really is no need to. x squared. And then next we're going to find the derivative of f of x and g of x. Derivative of sine x equals cosine of x. And the derivative of x squared equals 2x. Now that we have these four pieces, all we have to do is plug them into our power, uh, quotient rule. So g of x equals x squared minus the derivative of f of x, which is cosine squared, or sorry, cosine of x, minus f of x, which is sine of x, times the derivative of the bottom, or g of x, which is 2x. And that is divided by g of x squared. So x squared squared which of course all of this simplifies to x squared cosine of x. Actually, if we're going to really simplify this, we'll uh, factor an x out of the top and cancel it with one of the x's in the bottom. Which, so that'll give us x cosine of x minus 2 sine of x over x to the third. Hope that this is problem was helpful. We'll be producing many others.